In this lesson, we'll determine if three points in space are collinear, meaning all three points would be on the same line in space. To do this, we'll determine the parametric equations of the line passing through two of the points, then determine if the third point is on the line. If it is on the line, the points are collinear. If it's not on the line, the points are not collinear. Recall a line parallel to a vector v with components a comma b comma c passing through the point x1 comma y1 comma z1 is given by the parametric equations x equals x1 plus at, y equals y1 plus bt, and z equals z1 plus ct. The vector v is also sometimes called the direction vector. To begin, we need to select two of the points to determine a direction vector. Let's let a be the initial point and b be the terminal point. Let's determine vector ab in component form. The x component is equal to three minus one. The y component is equal to five minus three. And the z component is equal to eight minus four. Simplifying, the x component is two, the y component is two, and the z component is four. This is the direction vector, or the vector parallel to the line, which indicates for our equations, a equals two, b equals two, and c equals four. And now we need a point on the line, which can be either point A or point B. Let's go ahead and use point A, which is the order triple one comma three comma four, which indicates for our equations, x1 equals one, y1 equals three, and z1 equals four. We now have the information we need to write the parametric equations for the line in space passing through points A and B. We have x, or let's say x of t, equals x sub one plus a t, which is one plus two t. We have y of t equals y one plus b t, which is three plus two t. And we have z of t is equal to z one plus c t, which is four plus four t. Notice when t is zero, we have point A, one comma three comma four, and when t is one, we have point B, which is three comma five comma eight. So the next step is to determine whether point C is on this line. To do this, we set the x coordinate equal to x of t, which forms the equation four equals one plus two t. We set the y coordinate of six equal to y of t, which is three plus two t. And we set the z coordinate of 13 equal to z of t, which is four plus four t. Now when we solve for t, if we don't get the same value of t for each equation, then the points are not collinear. If we do get the same value of t for all three equations, the three points are collinear. For the first equation, we subtract one on both sides, which gives us three equals two t, dividing both sides by two, we have t equals three halves. For the next equation, we subtract three on both sides, which gives us three equals two t. Again, dividing both sides by two, we have t equals three halves. And for our last equation, we subtract four on both sides, which gives us nine equals four t. Dividing both sides by four, notice we do not get three halves, we get t equals nine fourths. So because we don't have the same value of t, for each of the three equations, point C is not on the line, and the three points are not collinear. Before we go, let's look at this graphically. In this graph, point A and point B are the blue points. The line is given by the parametric equations that we found. Notice the line does contain the two blue points. This red point is point C. Notice point C is not on the line which does verify the three points are not collinear. I also included the vector we used to find the parametric equations graphed here in red, which again is parallel to the line, sometimes called the direction vector. I hope you found this helpful.